Good evening and welcome to this new video about tapestries. Tonight I will show you three large French historical tapestries that I have used in some of my videos. Two reproductions from the 17th, 18th century that you can see in the latest servant role play and a reproduction of a famous tapestry from the end of the 15th century at the very beginning of the Renaissance era. And as usual, I will use a few brushes to show you some parts of the tapestries and for a bit of tracing, of course. Let's see. So I'm going to start with an 18th century tapestry, a quite intricate landscape, yet very serene. This one is called Le Lignon, which is the name of the river at the bottom located in the southeast of France. This tapestry is a modern one but was inspired by an actual antique tapestry that can still be seen in a castle near Paris. This is a spring scene where we can see wedding birds. One here. I could not really identify. They look very exotic for French birds, so it was probably an artistic choice. Especially since these birds were very popular at these times.
this one looks like a parrot this one well I don't really know if you have an idea let me know This kind of tapestry is called fine verdure in French. That simply means fine verdure because of the abundance of green foliage we can see everywhere. as well it is quite colorful we can see green of course but also red pink yellow blue orange at the back of the scenery we can see a luxury mansion and this is a quite usual feature on these 18th century tapestries meant to add perspective but always with a feeling of wealth and aristocracy because these were often meant to be seen in castles or rich mansions but this style of castle doesn't look very French in my opinion more like an Italian castle and on the other side what we see here is probably the church nestled in the forest this is a very romantic picture
next one. This tapestry is probably the most interesting in my opinion. You probably wonder when I used it. Actually, it was for a video released on Patreon only, so you haven't seen it on the channel yet. But I know I will use it again for a future roleplay. I really love this one because it's both mysterious and full of symbolism with a story behind it. This tapestry is called La Licorne Captive, the Captive Unicorn, sometimes known as the Unicorn Rests in a Garden. And it is the seventh and last one of a famous series from the Middle Ages, where we see the unicorn being hunt, and this last one is probably the most famous of the series. This reproduction has beautiful borders, but the original has none. And speaking of the original, you can still see it in New York at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. There is a lot to say about this one and there are a lot of theories about symbolism but I will focus on the main points and leave a link in the description if you want to learn more. So, the original tapestry was woven around 1500 and depicts a peaceful scene of a tethered unicorn resting in the middle of a meadow after he was captured. In the Middle Ages, the unicorn was a representation of purity and we can find many other symbols there. For example, the pomegranate tree we can see here was a common symbol of marriage and fertility, as well as many plants we see in the meadow. plants that young couples would love to carry. This kind of floral pattern is called mille fleurs in French. The previous video I made about tapestries shows another example of this pattern. So if you're interested, I will leave the link. Now let's have a look at the beautiful borders.
This is a modern addition that frames the tapestry with a very similar style. We can find many flowers again. And an animal at each corner. There are a dog, a sheep, a rabbit and can see here. Let's skip to the last one. Which is also the largest and unfortunately less interesting than the two others. Again, this one is probably inspired by the 17th century tapestries and since it was bought second hand and not famous at all, I could not find a single information about it, even on internet. It is called Le Chateau the castle and it's another example of fine verdure so with many trees and plants but there is no other information I'm sorry obviously it was just meant to decorate a room and make it cozy, which is fine. The castle is barely visible. It could be ruins. It's hard to say. We can also see a bridge and this time there is no animal, no figure, which is quite unusual and make me feel like it's a bit deserted, almost dead. I don't know if it makes sense. This style of tapestry is also called Aubusson and refers to a French town where very famous tapestries were made since the 15th century and there is still a factory that you can visit What else do we have? Maybe this is a kind of tower? This tapestry is not very detailed and obviously made to be watched from a distance.
still this is a nice green landscape and I think I will use it again on a set Hope you enjoyed this video and as always I wish you a very good night